In this tutorial, we'll start making the Automoblox T9 wheel rim. I'm going to start with the sketch on the right plane. My first line is going to start at the bottom, come out to the right, and I'm going to make it point five seven. It really serves no purpose other than to be a um, an axis that we're going to rotate around and I want to use this as a reference point to be able to dimension from. Okay, next I'm going to come up above and I'm going to create a line going back the other direction. It has a dimension of 0.49. And we're going to dimension that from this point to that point is also 0.57. From that line to our original line down here is going to be 0.15. Then we're going to draw a vertical line. This is 0.09. And we have a line extending this direction at 0.37. Okay, from there we're going to work on up. We're going to make another line up here. This one is 0.45. Need to dimension that the end of it from the end of this one is also at 0.57. We have a vertical line coming off of it and going up at 0.15. A line coming across is 0 0.08. And we're going to dimension that the line up here down to the line at this location is 0.73. I'm going to draw a line going down this time. This is 0 0.06. And then we're going to come over to the other side and start working over here. So we have a line that is 0 0.08. We want to dimension that this point from the end of the line there is 0.57. The height of this line is the same as the other side here, so it's also going to be at 0.73. We're going to come down 0.08. And on the other side, we're going to come down 0 0.06. Then we'll connect the two open spaces. And next we need to add a point. So we're going to use the create point. We'll place a point out in this direction. going to dimension that from the top is 0.23 and dimension from this side here is 0.62 I want to create another point.
it's going to be 0.15 from this point. And we want to make sure that it stays on that location, so we're going to dimension it here as 0.57. I'm going to use the three-point arc. Clicking the top point, the bottom point, and bending to this point. And then I'm going to do another three-point arc that goes from the point here to the point there. And we're going to bend it just a little bit. And hopefully we get the tangent symbol. If you don't, you can come up and choose tangent and make these two lines tangent to each other. We'll then trim away this portion of the line. And we could do an actual measurement, but I'm going to just kind of make this look similar. I'm going to grab a point here, grab the point here, and bend this in so that we have a little bit of an arc to finish that out. I need to add a couple of uh, fillets. I'm going to click here, choose this corner, and make it 0.1. And hopefully this works that we can do a fillet here as well. And make this 0.1. Then we'll finish the sketch. And we're going to do a revolve. Sorry, a revolve of that piece around the line here and click OK. So that gives us the general shape of our wheel. Next we need to construct an offset plane. We're going to click there and we're going to drag it out in front. So anything over probably 0.06 would be fine and click OK. Going to start a sketch and place that sketch on this plane. I first want to make a circle starting in our same center point. And it's going to be 1.3. We'll create a couple of points. Make sure you put them on the circle. Dimension those two points as 0.6. Then we'll dimension one of those points from the center as point three so that we've centered it up. We're going to create another point centered and above the middle, and we're going to dimension that height as point three one. I'm then going to do a three point arc. Clicking one side, click the other side, and bend down to the point we just made. Grab the scissors and trim away the outer portion of the circle. We will finish the sketch. Then do an extrude. Change it to a cut. Tell it to cut through all and flip the direction, clicking OK. Next step will be to circular pattern this. So under Create, we're going to go down to Pattern and choose Circular Pattern. Make sure this says Features. We're going to select the last extrude, select the item for the axis. I can click this line here or I can click any circle 
and set the quantity to 5 and choose OK. Okay, so that cuts it out, but the problem is it cut it out a little bit high up here. If we go and look from the back side, you can see that it's got some cutouts here and it really should be the same size all the way around. If I turn over this one, it should be smooth on the inside. So we need to fix that. In order to do that, we're going to expand the origins here. We're going to start a sketch. And we're going to start it on the YZ plane. So that we can see inside, we're going to choose to slice. And I'm going to select the rectangle. I'm going to choose up top here and bring that rectangle across. And then do a fillet of 0.1. And the same thing on this other side. We'll draw a line down the center. finish our sketch and we're going to revolve the part we just drew around that center line changing it from a cut to a join and click OK so that will give it a little bit of a rounded edge here on the inside and if we go back to the other side now it's smooth within there Last thing would be to change the appearance. We're going to expand the bodies, right click on body one, choose appearance. Scrolling down into the options, I'm going to go to metal, then to aluminum, and I'm going to choose the polished aluminum, drag it onto the object, and close, and then you can save.